Hey guys and welcome to or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I will be giving tips to upcoming or incoming freshmen. So yeah, I just finished my freshman year of high school and now I'm going into my sophomore year. And I just wanted to maybe give some tips and tricks and things like that, tell you a little bit about, a little bit about my freshman experience and things like that. I did a video like this last year to advice to middle schoolers and hopefully I can just keep the tradition going. Give my wise advice because I know everything. That's the funny thing I've heard all day. Um, so I have a list here of things I've thought of, a lot of it, um, a lot of people told me, I've seen it on TikToks and just, yeah, this is just, so these are the main tips I saw and heard for myself and what I think, so I'm just gonna, I'm gonna share them. A lot of them if you've done like a little bit of research you probably heard a lot of them because they're all pretty common sense if you ask me so but before we get started i want to give you a little rundown how my freshman year went my freshman year was a pretty good year i think my worst year of school just for me though was fourth grade and my freshman year wasn't bad i'll give it maybe a rate it at 8.5 9 out of 10. um i hated the work i hate high school math but that's just because i suck at math but like over other the work aside i had a really good school experience i felt i had more freedom because you do people treat you like a you know more mature adult so act that way don't act crazy don't be really loud and things just like present yourself well give yourself a good reputation and it will it will go a long way trust me so yeah my high school freshman year experience was pretty good hopefully yours is too so yeah, let me just, let's get right into it. Okay, so the first tip I have is to join clubs. Um, I got that one. Everyone told me to join clubs going into freshman year. And I don't know why I'm telling you this because I only joined one club and that was pep club. And I only went to one football game and I made a vlog on that. So go check that out. And I didn't say it in the vlog cause you know, good vibes, but I was so lonely. <laughs> you're gonna join a club maybe you and your friend can do it so you already know someone that's just my advice like that's what i probably should have done but i do not recommend it i would if you're interested in it just go for it because then you meet a lot more new people like my friend jill she was in pep club and me and her are good friends but i didn't know she was in pep club until after football season was over so that's i only went to one game like i feel like if, if i went to a different so, like more games then i would have met some more people and it I would have started making more friends because I'm a very social person. Yeah, it was embarrassing and humbling experience to say the least. Okay, high school is not scary. Okay, walking in, you're so shy because you just got out of eighth grade and you're in middle school and now you're, you're with the big people. It's not scary. Literally half of the people don't even know you're a freshman. I got called, the people thought I was a sophomore. Some people thought I was a junior and then a lot of people knew I was a freshman, uh, but, but like, there's a mix up of so many different people and so many different classes unless it's like especially for freshmen or especially you know those but then you know there's some classes that there's a mix of all grades literally you're not gonna get caught make get made fun of for being a freshie unless that's like their whole personality trait is making fun of freshmen but like and for me my high school is pretty big but not huge like maybe a school like in new york um but most of the time you'll know your way around. Like I only had, you know, one year of high school, but I basically know the school. So don't stress over it. It might, it probably took me like a week to figure things out where my classes were. Maybe, probably not even that long. Probably like the first day I got the gist of it. But then like by a week, I was like, no questions asked. Don't stress over it. You'll, you'll know your way, get a map. Put, I, I recommend though, like on your first day, put your schedule as your home screen. So then you can just glance at your phone and know where you're going. I saw that tip and I was like, I'm gonna use that this year. Cause I didn't use it last year, but that is genius. The next tip is to keep up with your classes. Okay, try to make good grades. I would work, take your hardest classes at the beginning of the year, like freshman and sophomore year. Then later your junior, mostly senior year, senior year you can like be laid back in things um that's what i've heard your grades do matter especially in high school because if you want to go into college then they look at that but then also remember like a grade does not define you literally it's a letter like in 30 years like is that grade really gonna matter but like still try your hardest but don't overwork yourself and know your worth but still try your best 
I just gave you a lot of mixed emotions and I'm sorry because I don't have the time I don't know what I'm saying so another tip with not falling behind is just go to school okay I know um you're like justice like what do you mean like just don't try to miss that much school unless you have to i know school gets hard and every day you miss you fall more behind like if you miss like three days of school that is so much work that's like usually like seven classes of work just stacking up and doubling you'll regret it later if you don't i remember a little story time i missed a day because i faked being sick Sorry, mom, if you're watching this. Um, but yeah, I faked being sick because I had a really busy weekend. I was like, I just want to lay in bed. And I watched the Euphoria episode. But I was, but that's just me. But I was stressing the whole day. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm like, I should be in math class right now. I'm probably going to have so much work to make up. And I did. I had a, I missed one day and I had so much freaking work. Dude, even though I missed my first week of high school ever because I went to the beach. But that's just me. This one I really recommend, and it's to make class friends, okay? It's, I only had one class with my best friend, uh, Shania, and then later on, my one of my close friends, Riley, second semester. But make class friends, because then you will look forward to that class. In math class, I had my friend Jill and a few others, and I was not dreading math class and hating it as much, because we were there for each other. And it's like, oh, if you miss a day and you need the answers or you need help on the work, you have that class friend to fall back on and be like, hey, can you help me? So yeah, it just makes school a little bit more bearable. This next tip I think is very important, it's especially for the beginning of the year, is to not buy much school supplies at all. Literally the first day you should like some paper, pencil, maybe a binder or something. But like, just don't buy a lot until like the first day of school because all the teachers will like give you a syllabus and tell you things you need and if you just go out and buy a lot of goodies half the stuff you won't even use so wait until they tell you what you need and then go buy reusing stuff is good you don't need brand new a brand new binder if you have an uh, old one that just has a few scratches i feel like a lot of these it seems like i'm screaming at you but i'm just really um but this one i am gonna scream at you because you are a freshman do not date seniors too, but those are like some grown almost adults so don't be flirting they're not in it for the right reasons but i'm not saying you can't make friends with seniors i had a, maybe three senior friends this year maybe a few more um but like three close ones and we were chill they gave they looked out for me it's good to have someone to look out for you give you some of their own advice from their own experience but don't not in a relationship type of way you have no business to be trying to date a grown person because you're a child. This one is really important and it's not to get involved with drama or gossip. A lot of that is middle school and kind of childish like, but a lot of drama happens in high school too. We've all seen the movies. And it's not like the movies in that way. A lot of fights happen in middle school and high school and things like that, but yeah, people are just in a bad mood. Nobody wants to be at school, but like, just don't get into it. Don't say anything negative. Don't talk bad about people. The word will get out. Like one rumor about me, this was in middle school though, that I started this like drama page for my middle school and was saying really bad things about people. And it wasn't even me. It wasn't even me, but it, it, I got framed basically. Like the principal had to talk to me and everything. That's a long, that's a story for another day. Uh, Stay with the right crowd. <laughs> there, take from that. Don't gossip, don't get into drama. Stay with the right crowd. Don't talk bad about people. And that's it. <laughs> so there's quite a few apps you can use for high school that are very helpful. But the three main ones I use is Quizlet for my English honors class, Save and Grace. Uh, like for vocab or anything. I love Quizlet. Then Brand Brandly, that one's okay. I don't use it as much because you have to like pay for a lot of it, but I, I just look at ads. That helped me a lot in math. And then photo math, you can't go wrong. I remember one time I was in my ACT class, ACT prep class, and I had to have help on um, my math work but it was like screenshotted on my phone so I was showing the teacher and a, a notification from photo math popped up mm, awkward if you get into a relationship have a girlfriend or boyfriend don't choose those people over your friends okay just some of y'all about to be real mad at me but it must be said relationships it's a very slim chance that relationships work out in high school 
But friendships, they, they're for life, forever. When you do those pinky promises, they're for life. We all kind of get a gist who our fake friends are and who our real friends are. So don't get, if you get into a relationship, don't just ignore your friends after you get into a relationship because if they break up with you, who are you gonna have? Nobody. Well, since we're on the friend topic now, uh, don't follow everything your friends do, okay? Are they gonna be there your senior year? They may, they might not though. Like don't, if you like a class, but your friends in this class, don't switch. Okay, it will probably get you distracted. So that's where you make class friends at. That's where that comes in handy. And the peer pressure is also a big thing. Actually a huge thing in high school. This is where peer pressure gets to its ultimate goal. Because when you're grown ups, you've grown out of that usually. And in middle school, it's just getting started. So high school is right in the middle. Peer pressure is huge and it gets to the point where it can ruin your life because there's drugs, alcohol, vaping and drooling and all that, weed, smoking, thing, all that. Don't get peer pressured. Actually do the things you want to do and what you think is right. If you feel comfortable in that position, you know, a lot of that stuff is illegal and a lot of a lot of it is addictive. And I have some friends that it has ruined their life and they regret it ever doing it. So do not fall for peer pressure. As cliche as that sounds. Oh my gosh, I sound like a police officer coming from dare or something. I've seen people be so depressed and regret it so much and just be like, don't do it. Don't do anything that you don't think will help you in life. Something I saw on a lot of advice pages and tips and tricks, it was to not get a locker, but I'm going against that because I got a locker this year and I do not regret it at all. A lot of people are like, oh, you don't have time to stop in between classes. That might be the case. My locker was, thank goodness, really close by to a lot of my classes. So first off, it depends where your locker's at. But anyways, like, in the winter time when you're wearing them big heavy jackets you don't want to carry that around all day so i had the locker to put it in if you don't get a locker yourself like ask your friend if you guys can like split one or you guys like make sure your friend someone has a locker it's a hassle carrying everything around all day so i recommend getting a locker in certain scenarios okay and then lastly is to cherish everything take nothing for granted okay you're only in high school once make memories make friends those might be lifelong friends or have maybe even do some relationships in the mix you know almost everyone will i haven't yet but you know I'll, i probably will before i get out of high school mix it up a little those are life lessons that you will learn and just be careful have fun i feel like i went through that way too fast and i probably over explained a lot of them and probably did not make sense but hopefully you get the gist you get the thing i'm trying to say but uh yeah that's all my tips for freshman year of high school if you're a freshman watching this good luck it's not as stressful and scary as you're thinking okay let's say it that way um but i love you guys thank you guys so much for watching this video if you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want any more tips for freshmen or anything you have questions about and then like this video and follow my tiktok and social medias down below i love you and i will see you in my next video bye